Yo, these crocs get very, very, very deadly because I'm so lazy. I just throw these suckers on all the time now. Some of the most questions I get are about the mods, which is crazy because people will literally uh, watch a video on the exact mod that I put on this car and will still ask me questions about it. Like, it's weird, but hey, it is what it is. I support you guys because you guys support me. These things hold up pretty good. I hit one of those little outdoor dining things right here, and this is the the aftermath of it so i went underneath oh man you can see look look at this like maybe that was the after outdoor dining thing too but uh you can see under there i like broke one little clip piece but and uh some 3m tape i'm just take some 3m tape and put it back here but yo you guys know how i drive my cars uh you guys see the specs and dents on the bumper look at this lip this lip is phenomenal it's a three-piece i recommend it like I said, anything that lasts on my car, the way I drive it, I pretty much recommend it. So minimalistic of mods, but it just made the car. It's like a freaking chef's kiss. I figure, you know, before I hit the dealership, let me get the car at least a little bit right. So uh, you guys know, I know a lot of videos I had no plus paddle. Now you see I have no minus paddle. Super glued the thing under here, like a little cap over it. Wrong, wrong, wrong idea. I think it makes it look a little bit better. However, at the same time, yo, you can't even get a freaking screwdriver in there now. So I got to figure out a way to uh, get in there to pop the airbag off. So uh, I got so tired of the the minus paddle just being there that I just ripped it off. Like it wasn't that hard. I just you know teeter tottered it and just popped it off. So you know I much rather have no paddles, which I still kind of do. If you see, I do have the paddle function, but just can't see them. So I rather have it like that rather than you know it just looks weird, especially when I'm editing the videos too. But this thing is livable. Hold on, I'm gonna roll up the windows so you guys can see how livable it is. We're chilling, the AC on right now, the valves are closed. We got it in a regular mode. Here we go. You can definitely hear more exhaust sound inside the car, but it's not really any noticeable amount of drone. I'd say it sounds similar to the sound of it pumping into the car, like the, the speakers pumping into the car sounds just similar it's just a little bit different because you hear it from the back whereas before it sounded like surround sound but we're gonna get on the highway real quick not too bad see like this is me cruising 2000 i'm on the gas see you don't really hear nothing This is BMW behind me trying to go crazy. I got into it with a dude in a 3.30 the other day. Because, um, this dude's driving all crazy, man. Like, trying to challenge me, cut me off, all this extra stuff like that. Whatever he was trying to do. But he waited till he's all over there. Oh, your car is so slow, slow. Come on, man. Like, let's be realistic. But it's like, okay, if that's what you want to say, you know. <sighs> Engage loud mode. Yo, you could really hear it. XHP trans flash is worth it. You play with too much trickery, drag mode and stuff. It does say you're gonna wear your transmission down faster. And I, I you know, it's completely understandable. Now, this car right now is running stock power. So I can't seem to think that I'd be killing the trans that much more. You know, I could launch, I could, you know, do pulls, load up the drivetrain. And in all reality, the tires are gonna take the biggest hit because it's just gonna spin, you know? I don't have to worry about, you know, uh, snapping stuff uh, unless you brake boost for too long, which I just don't want to like trigger people and break hearts because these your online warriors are like insane. But like, it'd be so funny. <laughs> like, you'll get the people that's like, oh my God, my car is so fast. I snapped the drive shaft. I twisted the drive shaft. Bro, it doesn't take a lot of power to twist the drive shaft. All you need to do is sit on the freaking brake and sit on the gas. And it'll snap the drive shaft. Like, you know, um, it's a whole big thing with like torque converters and stall speeds and stuff. Sometimes you'll hear that that, that word that people call like like uh, the car's creeping up or something like that. And it's just all about torque converters and stall speeds. You know, you can only sit 
on an RPM for so long before the uh, torque converter, I guess, starts, how can I explain it? Starts engaging, like it'll, it'll send some power through it, you know? For example, if your torque converter stall speed is at like 2700 rpm which i think that's maybe a little too high i don't remember but um you know i could sit at 2700 rpm at a red light and just gas and break it for like i mean not infinity but you get my point and i will not move however when i'm trying to launch at 3500 rpm and my stall speed is 2700 rpm it's going to want to go that's where you get those like burnouts a little bit or that's when the car starts to just because uh, 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 the brakes can't keep it down you know I, I don't think it has anything to do with like car control i just think it's just math you know uh cars like the dct like the m4 uh what else has a dct you know um cars with dcts or like porsche's pdk or something like that you can sit on that bitch because it's dual clutch and it doesn't work like how an automatic works so you go and that bitch is just you, you, you can rock out you get what i'm saying uh because it just snaps the like uh not snaps but like you know slaps the clutch into play when it's uh go time so you know similar to like like a manual like you have it in first gear you have the clutch in and you ah, you can hold it as much as you want and then you let go of that clutch and you know you're off so uh you know in, in our at the end of the day i'm i I'm kind of happy that I don't have the all-wheel drive one because I probably would have broke some stuff, you know, turn up the power. I just tend to, I guess, try to break some stuff, you know? get to you guys but oh man throwing the stock paddles back on I've considered getting the M3 M4 paddles I mean they kind of are expensive I know a guy that sells them for 300 bucks and I've also seen these like magnetic paddles too it's inside the cabin valves and everything open oh yeah definitely louder down for a bit. No, you can hear the burbles. It sounds like a race car. Yo, this thing is a complete animal. Lightly modded too. I don't even think I have like over 10 different modifications on this car. And she pulls, you know what I mean? She freaking pulls hard. Let's see if I can get a launch control going. This is completely stock. say though i definitely need a little bit more power in that launch it was bogged now this car being a rear wheel drive it definitely leaves the hole um a little bit Whew. And you get jittery it leaves the hole a little bit slow but a little bit more power probably fix that and it takes a little bit more to build boost in this thing too than i thought i think it's like low compression so you need more boost in order to get an effective whatever you know um but yo know, you can hear the boost growing as you like which i mean i guess you can hear it in other cars too but like these newer bmws you hear the intake so much more aggressively when you know you throw an intake on it like my m55 i never f hear heard it building boost until i ran a huge turbo on it the uh master power 65 64 out of the big boost kit 
which I haven't been hearing a lot about Big Boost lately. I wonder, I don't know. It's a, definitely revised his kits. You know, I dealt with him in the beginning. I'd say the stuff is good. That, that's me personally. Uh, customer service is a little bit, you know, a little iffy. However, I think he has revised both custom service and the kit, so it'll be super dope. Uh, you know, look at some reviews, see what he's got going on now. But uh, yeah, man, this thing is dope. You don't need much to make these cars an absolute blast. You got guys over there uh, killing the game, though. Built motor, single turbo setup, which I'm curious to get some numbers on a single turbo setup because for some reason, I don't think that it would fare as well right now, right now. And, um, you know, as these twin turbo monsters, you know, maybe some upgrades on here. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really seen him bring it out. Uh, check out the guy M Powerhouse. He has he has a single turbo setup. I haven't really seen him do any numbers. So, you know. <clears throat> when it comes to like, you know, me voiding my warranty and people ask me, you know, how do I feel about it or should I void it or whatever the case may be, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like. I film videos, you know, so doesn't really matter what I do to my car. They know it doesn't really matter what I try to hide, you know, tune and take it off. They know they can just pull it, pull it up. So I'm gonna get up out of here real quick and I'll uh, try to see if they can take a look at this or order me this piece and fix the leak. I'm trying to see if they have the new M340 as well. I want to see the iDrive 8. Obviously, I, I'm familiar with that and I kind of want to see the updates. Super dope ass M3 up there, but uh, let me see something. No, flat. this is the, the M tire, so it's not run flat. Where's the seal right there? Right here. Oh shit, right here. Yeah. It broke brand new tire for four hundred bucks. I know. And, and 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 already. Yeah. And I already I only have like ten thousand miles on the car. The tires went at, at like seven thousand miles. I see the twin brothers. Is in the yeah, door. yeah. See the. All me, right, man. So what about the the door yeah, thing? Yeah. Let me. See. All right, cool. Yo, this thing is sexy over here. Service. Sheesh, it's actually a blue. I've never seen this color before. And the camera, it looks more blue, but in real life, it looks black. This is sweet. I've never, wow, this color right here is beautiful. M3 too. M3 comp is new. Sheesh. Oh yeah, that's sexy. That's sexy. This is wild, yo. Trying to get a look at the new M340, the LCI update. It looks like I'm just gonna have to wait until I get back to like my BMW Greenwich or like Rally or something in New York because yo, no dealer down here has them. Like no dealer down here has any car, bro. Like they're all on order. Freaking insane, man. Like I mean, they had a, a F82 M4 and an F90 M5, you know, non-comp. I think the other one was a CS maybe, but it's like yo. It's skimp down here. Like it's skimp. Try to give you guys a try to see what the um, new G20s look like. I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to hold this video so I'll show you guys or something like that. But super success, they fixed the door part for me. That was good. One step at a time, you're fixing these problems. And a freaking airbag for these paddles. They gotta come off. Damn. Obviously, you can tell right now it's a whole new day. Heading over by uh, being a rally, they have some event going on a little bit late, but um, yeah, man, I'm trying to catch this M340. I want to see this new facelift. I want to show y'all. Let me get some content. Some of my boys over there, I think. I don't know if they left already because they got over there pretty early, but we'll see. So, uh, yeah. Every single one of these days have been filled with rain, but uh, listen, I think we're getting like that tail end of what that hurricane Ian or something like that. Man, I am not complaining, it's a good day, you know. Uh, I wish the people out there in Florida and you know, South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, best of luck. My guy Mike lives out there, one of my guys, Mike. Um, yo, best of luck, man, because uh, I know it's hitting you hard out there. So I'm not even gonna take this little rain or anything we got going on. I'm not even gonna complain about it, cause you know, it's crazy out there, yo. Some dude, uh, 
Some dude lost his P1. It's all over the news. I'm not sure when this video is gonna come out. When I say news, I mean, I guess car, Instagram news. But, oh my God, I didn't expect that to happen. But yeah, um, man, it's crazy, man. It can get crazy in the blink of an eye, you know? I was trying to see um, the new M340. That's the only reason I bought my camera. I'd be, I'd be lazy. I go like this. The new MP40, and I walk around. Yo, I, I drive like this. I walk like this. I do everything like this, bro. Nah, this is this is nice. It came with the lip and everything, or? Nice. Let me see this one. This is nice. Oh, the seat's got the little suede in it, too. My bad, I'm rubbing your seat. Yeah, My bad, bro. Yo. To the left. Oh, to the left, that one? That's, that's called Dead Man's Dead Man's yeah. Corner, yeah. yeah. Turn, but right. if you turn left, is it Dead Man or right is Dead Man? Turn left. Left is all right. I be trying to take that shit. It yeah, depends. Yeah. It depends, though. Because left got like a two or three dips or something like that. Yeah, nah. And it, if you it hit like it, bumpy. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I've taken that, I've taken that turn. This oh, yeah, this is nice, man. It felt a little, you know, sketchy. This shit has 60 at all. Like, I'll be scared of doing this shit. Because I snap over steering this shit. No, because everybody would have always told me, like. They look nice. Even for that. This is sick. <laughs> it it's takes. The same wing design. Yeah, the same. Oh. oh. <laughs> See, look, 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 look. Uh. See, this is, this is the fastest as it gets right here. Oh, it's still got this, right? <laughs> In what? <laughs> My car. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Tell him to see me on the track, okay? That's built for the track. Me too. <laughs> Yo. But we got some big trophies here for some outstanding cars. And uh, we're going to start that presentation right now. So, let's see they got number 13. Got your name on the AJ. Yes, I admit, Pipes. Let me get out your way, bro. Good? Okay. Oh, shit, this guy right here. Yo, what's up with the donuts, man? You got the video? I got it, bro. I got mm -hmm. it. I got it. <laughs> She's running, man. Yo, you too, man. for this freaking M340 continues. So it seems to be that the way the dealerships is set up, you really can't like find one. You know, everyone is like spoken for. This is like 
like how the M4 was, especially when I was looking for the M4. You go on Auto Trader or go anywhere, you know, you see them on a the dealership website and you call and they're like, oh, this one's not here yet. Can I leave the deposit? Oh, uh, somebody's already left the deposit. So, you know, um, seems to be the issue pertaining to M light cars too, like the M340. They're not make, they're not sitting on lots. I'm not sure how long it's gonna go for. I'm gonna close the valve so it just eliminates the drone. Oh yeah, huge difference. But um, <sighs> no success, no M340. That's the main point of this video. So, Mike from So Speak, peace out.